Um, I don't know. I, I hope this, this works so that I don't... Ah, perfect. So, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Maria, for that kind introduction. Um, just uh, as a response, I have to say that when I received this email by Maria, I thought it's a spam, of course. And I was looking for the Nigerian cousin, cousin that I should connect to to uh, be, be the invested uh, some billions of dollars. And, well, I thought, well, I didn't find the, the part with the cousin, so I thought, okay, I'll respond. And, um, yeah, that uh, led to us... Uh, uh, talk together about biodiversity. Okay, so now how do I get this up? Oh, perfect. So, yeah, thank you very much, and I'll uh, use the next five minutes to share with you the essentials of biodiversity. So biodiversity refers to the diversity of life on Earth, by the way, the only habitable planet we know of. Um, biodiversity has three components. The first, first component is genetic diversity, and a genetic diversity, the variety within a species, allows species to better cope with environmental change. So um, the larger the genetic pool of a species, the more likely it is that at least some individuals will be able to cope with even potentially deadly changes, such as a new predator, an emerging new uh, former un formerly unknown disease, or climate change. So we can say, Genetic diversity is the best insurance a species gets against extinction. The second level is species diversity. Of course, a mouse is not an elephant, and species diversity uh, makes our eco biosphere resilient to change as a whole. So, in a way, we can say species are the nodes in the web of life, just like the knots in a hammock. The more they are, the more stable the system, the more we lose, the more um, yeah, the, the, the system is at, is at risk. Now, as you all know, species are not evenly distributed over our, our planet. Certain species assemblages can be found at certain sites, and here they are connected with each other over sometimes very, very complex processes. And this combination of species assemblage with, a, with these processes that connect them at a certain site is called an ecosystem. And whenever an ecosystem works for us, we are, we are talking about ecosystem services. And Maria already mentioned a couple of them. Um, pollination, carbon sequestration, um, uh, uh, yeah, carbon, pollination, carbon sequestration, uh, fertile soil, she mentioned. And here you see the entire array of uh, ecosystem services. And there are actually only three things you have to remember. First, eco uh, um, biodiversity ecosystem services have a enormous economic value. Second, they are the basis of life. And third, they cannot be replaced by us. And despite these facts, we harm them and we harm biodiversity. Land use change, mainly for agriculture, direct prosecution and overuse, uh, invasive species, pollution and climate change are the five main drivers for biodiversity loss. And Maria already shared with us, um, well, the, the collapse of genetic diversity with, when she mentioned the a decrease or, and going downhill of mammal and insect populations she um, experienced during her lifetime. And unfortunately, I have to add a couple of more, uh, more numbers here. First, we accelerated natural extinction rate by the factor of approximately 1,000. So um, T-Rex and his companions, when they uh, left the Earth by natural extinction, that took about 33,000 years. This process, given our extinction rates today, uh, rate today, would take place in about 33 years. But it's not only um, well, the acceleration of species uh, extinction. We lose about 150 species every day, and we destroy a patch of pristine rainforest the size of a soccer pitch every five seconds. And uh, even though we are only one of at least nine million species, we claim half of the world habitable, habitable land for us. That's bad news for tigers, for blue whales, for pandas and parrots, but it's also very bad news for us. Um, with, a with a destruction of biodiversity and ecosystem services, we are actually destroying our home. We are making our economy uh, sensitive to changes and us prone to, well, crisis that we'll see um, at a very higher rate and very much uh, severity in the next uh, couple of years. And this will be uh, food uh, in instability, that will be refugee crisis, that will be um, climate change. Now, is it all doom and disaster? Fortunately not. 
when I look back at my professional career, I can say that 20 years or more than 20 years ago, when we started to talk to pro uh, companies about biodiversity, usually they told us, oh, listen, we are already doing climate, we have to make money, and biodiversity, please leave nature to the NGOs. And now this very much changed. Today we work for large companies in the food, in the finance, in the fashion sector, for con building companies, in the hospitality sector. And in these companies, the, the decision makers realize that they won't make any, mo any money if we destroy ecosystems and biodiversity. And uh, on the contrary, that there are even a lot of possibilities to make money in the future, uh, develop new business models when um, uh, nature is protected. 